Let's go to Romans chapter 12, verse 19. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. So who is the Lord? Jesus Christ. So what is this saying? This is saying, if anyone is doing me wrong, if anyone is sinning against me, this is saying I don't have to worry about it. All I have to do is continue on being nice to that person, continue on, I guess you can say, serving that person, doing right by that person. And this is saying God is going to punish that person. Where you get yourself in trouble is if you seek out for revenge. It's if you pay back that person with the same sin that person have sinned against you with. So you may say, well, Kevin, if I don't punish that person, that person will continue to believe that it is okay that, or it is okay for them to continue on treating me in this manner. So I must do something bad to them. I must curse them out. I must act evil toward them. So this is going to show to that person and other people that I am a person that doesn't play any games. No, that is wrong. That is wrong. When you live for God, you are supposed to be dependent on God in all things. You may believe that it is your job that is supporting you. You may believe that it is your aunt, your husband, your wife, whatever that is supporting you it is not it is god so when you say or if you say that you can take care of your own or you can do things on your own you can't even wake up if god did not allow it you would not be able to walk or talk if God did not allow it. So it is crazy to say that, well, Kevin, I should not have to depend on God so much, but you do anyway. It is crazy to believe that you can function on your own. Everything that is happening in your life now, the ability for you to do things is because of God's grace. So to believe that you can live separate from God and God is not involved in your life in some way or form, that is crazy to believe that. By God's grace. So now you know that <laughs> you can move and function because of God. What I am saying now, listen, fully give your life to God. And when people do you wrong, stop doing this eye for an eye thing if you are doing that. Because that is going to get you in much more trouble. What is going to happen, God is going to punish the person that is sinning against you. And he is going to punish you for attacking that person back in some way or form. So any type of attack 
that you give back to your enemy, whether it is cursing that person out or slashing their tires, blah, 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 God is going to pay you back as well. So it is much sensible to forgive and move on. Because whether you see it or not, God is going to punish, God is going to avenge you. I believe this, when it comes down to God, I believe people depend too much on their senses. Kevin, if I don't see it, I don't believe God is doing it. No, that is wrong. Kevin, if I don't hear about it or am able to touch it or something like that, then I don't believe God is doing it. No, you can't go by your senses. When it comes down to the spiritual, I believe you can't go by your senses. You can't. Just because you can't see it, touch it, smell it, or whatever else, doesn't mean it is not there or it is not happening. Let me stop here. God bless you.